Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. There's going to be a QR code chilling on your screen that takes you to your WECT weather app or a place to download it to your device phrase. You want to scan that because this Sunday will be the second Sunday in a row we're calling for a first alert action day uh, here from the first alert forecast center a storm system with some potency with many of the same headlines that we had last Sunday into Sunday night. And so your action should include making sure that that big inflatable Santa is deflated and pinned down with some gusty elements to some of these showers and storms and of course rough on the waters. And I am thinking that this low pressure system is going to be really strong too. So the barometer is going to tank. So if you're one to get aches and pains, old injuries, what have you, um, have your therapies ready as we get into uh, Sunday. That barometer is going to really fall down. Let's get you outside meantime, just kind of mellowing out with this nice view of a tranquil Maine and Madison intersection in Whiteville. The Christmas tree easy on the eyes as well on your West Shore home. First Alert Skycam Network. We can Hop over to the Murkison building view in downtown Wilmington. This is looking sharp under clear skies. This temperature of 39 degrees. You're joining us every morning on Carolina in the morning. You say, okay, thanks, Gannon, for showing the temperatures. You say it's a little warmer than this time yesterday, and I'd say you're right, but here's the catch. North breezes are flowing, so the feels like or the wind chill, that'll get you. Feels just as cold, if not arguably colder, than this time yesterday all over the map. The white digits are showing temperatures 30s to around 40. OK, that's chilly enough, but then you factor in those north and northeast breezes. It feels even colder. Most places in the lower 30s with the wind chill. Your radar scan free and clear of showers. Nothing doing as far as rain, sleet or snow. Bree and Basil, uh, great pups. Crystal, appreciate the photo. Glad to have you guys aboard for the dog walking forecast this morning. We'll put a caution paw with that extra chill and the rising sun still Still kind of dark at 7 a.m. Getting dark at 5 p.m. Notice temperatures between noon and 5. Are we going to make around 60 like we did yesterday? I don't think so. Lower 50s about it, all we can muster uh, for the afternoon. Now I want to muster up an hour by hour. Eastern U.S. future radar model will start where that dog walking forecast left off at 5 p.m. today. And we'll go forward. Not only are we going to rack up hours, but we're going to rack up some days here. And into Sunday, that's an important pause point with low pressure targeting the Cape Fear region and Carolina's widespread rain and isolated gusty storms. And you notice barely any, if any, snow for the high country. So that's tough as we head toward Christmas. Maybe a little bit of backside uh, action there as the uh, low pressure system pulls away. Akin to your seven day forecast period, we're landing on Wednesday there and here. Your full seven day planning forecast on your screen. And Bill, always available in a trending article at WECT.com. Back to you.